Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In uh, today's video, we are starting rotation and uh, in the last couple of videos, we covered reflection. So if you haven't seen those videos, I'd suggest you check those out first. Not that they're connected, but uh, it's important to follow the specified order. Now, in this video, we will be introducing uh, rotation. Okay, we're not gonna be doing some full length questions that we'll do in the next couple of videos. But uh, yeah, so that's that's about it. Let's get straight into it. And if, as always, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, do share this video with your friends, classmates, whoever you think can possibly benefit from it. So anyway, let's get in, straight into it. So rotation, just like reflection was defined by the line of reflection, rotation is defined by three things, okay? Number one is the center, okay? So what does that mean? That means if you're asked to rotate an object, you need to know what the center is, okay? So in order to be precise, let's call it the center of rotation, okay? So that's number one. Number two is the angle, okay? Now, mostly we're gonna be dealing with either 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees, okay? So these are the three angles that we're gonna be dealing with mostly. The third, and that's the reason why I've drawn this clock over here, is the direction. Now, by direction, we mean it's either gonna be clockwise or anti-clockwise, okay? So it's a good idea to sort of know what clockwise direction is. So in case, I'm sure you do, but in case you don't, well, this is this hand that I'm now rotating, this hour hand, you can say, I'm rotating it in a clockwise direction, okay? And this direction is an anti-clockwise direction, okay? So the, these are the three things you have to watch out for. So whenever a question is asking you to rotate a certain object or even a point, it's gonna give you the center, okay? Which could be the origin, could not be the origin. It's gonna give you the angle in which you are, you're supposed to rotate it, 90 degree, 180 degree, 270, depending on the question and the direction. Now, one thing that I should point out over here is that 90 degree clockwise is the same thing as 270 degree anti-clockwise and uh, 90 degree anti-clockwise is the same thing as 270 degrees clockwise. Now, invariant point in transformation, remember, it's the center, whoops, sorry. So remember the center of rotation is the invariant point, okay? So in rotation, the center of rotation is the invariant point, okay? Think of it this way, that imagine that there are three points marked on the hour hand, okay? If you have a clock uh, in your room, I'd suggest you look at it. And if you notice the center where the needles are fixed, that is the point that does not change its place, okay? All the points on the hour and the minute hand or even the second hand change their positions, but it's the center that's fixed, so that is why that point is the invariant point. Okay, another thing to note in rotation is that the shape and size remain the same. Shape and size remain the same. So yeah. This was just a quick introduction of rotation. I hope you've understood everything so far. Not that I've explained some hardcore concepts over here, but these are the things to keep in mind whenever we're rotating an object. So that's it for this video. In the next couple of videos, we'll start rotating points. Okay, we'll start from easier ones and then gradually increase the difficulty level. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, bye-bye.